Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. One of the more emotionally charged measures on the ballot in Pike County is whether or not the county will be changing its form of government. If voters choose to change to a commissioner form of government at the next election, rather than electing six magistrates, voters will elect three commissioners. But one current Pike County magistrate doesn't believe that's the best decision. There's two crazy things about this I really didn't understand. And that, that was that it was an even number that, that they were dealing with because you didn't have a tiebreaker automatic in the system. And that you ran a primary in your district but then when you, in the general election, you, you ran countywide so people could vote from a, I just don't understand the logic there. Varney also fears that going from six magistrates to three commissioners will put more responsibility on a commissioner than one person can handle. Each one of us have 10 to 11,000 people in each one of their districts. If it's three commissioners, it'll be 21,000 plus in each one of their and I, I think that's just too many people. Right now, I spend a big portion of my day, at least two hours, of answering phone calls. And population is just one concern. With Pike County being the largest county in the state, commissioners will have to familiarize themselves with twice the area. Right now, in, in our six magistrate districts, we got roughly somewhere around 100 miles of county roads that we take care of in each one of them. So there's, there's over 600 miles of county roads somebody calls and tells me that a, a tree is down in the road at Left Fork of Turkey Toe, I know what they're talking about. Bobby Varney and the other magistrates admit there are issues and challenges in the current fiscal court, but they believe there are more to do with the recent sharp decline in the amount of coal severance funds, something that won't change just because the form of government does. You know, I hear all the time from some of my fellow magistrates, some of the people that live in my district and other districts, Used to, y'all do this. We used to do it this way. We, we can't do it that way anymore. You know, it, it's just not there. So I think that we can live within our means, uh, but it's going to take some, some more belt tightening. And while Varney says he will support the decision made by Pike County voters, he does not agree with the way he believes the subject has been presented to them. Most people will understand it when you sit down and you explain to them, but, that's been the problem. I don't think it's been explained to them right. It's, it's, it's something, this is it, and we're going to shove it down your throat, and I never did like it. If Pike County votes to change to a commissioner form of government, the three commissioners will be elected in 2018. Reporting in Pike County for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.